It's your girl Ro in the building and I'm here to welcome you to my Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to share with you how to make these amazing and delicious desserts. These are made for any occasion and especially for graduation time. So I'm going to share with you how to make my caramel cheesecake shooters. If you're ready to get started, let's get into the ingredients. Starting off, we're going to have our unsalted butter, our cream cheese, some granulated sugar, flavor, and a little bit of this cinnamon. Next, I'm going to be using the Dolce Leche Caramel and the Sweet Condensed Milk by Lechera. I'm going to be using these five ounce dessert cups, which are larger in size. Then you want to get you a scale and a bowl, and I'm going to be using these graham cracker crumbs. You want to zero out your bowl before you apply your crumble if you're going to measure it out. And you can measure out to five ounces or just use one cup of the crumbs. Add in four tablespoons of granulated sugar and a half teaspoon to a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. You want to mix that until it's all combined. The next you want to add in four to six tablespoons of unsalted melted butter. You want to mix this together until it becomes a wet sand and none of the dry crumbs are showing but it looks wet and all combined together. Now you want to take two heaping tablespoons and apply your first layer to your dessert cups. Once you apply, you want to make sure that each layer is about even as possible. And then you just want to give it a tap before you press down and make it nice and neat. Now this stamper I'm using is going to help um, level out my layers and you can tap, tap, and the corners, you can just re-tap it and then stamp it again. Now, if you choose to make your layers a little thicker, that's totally up to you, just use more crumble. Now it's time to make our cream cheese filling. So I'm using one block of an eight ounce cream cheese softened, and then I'm adding in two third cups of the sweetened condensed milk and apply that to your bowl. Next, I'm gonna add in one teaspoon of the cookie nip. If you don't have cookie nip, you can also use vanilla extract. Now you wanna take this and mix until it's nice and smooth, until everything is well combined. Now, once you mix this, make sure you mix and there's no lumps in there because nobody wants to eat a shooter with lumpy cream cheese. So it should come out smooth just like this. Now, I like to add a little bit more to it. So I'm going to add in a tablespoon of granulated sugar. And you just want to mix that until it's well combined. And then that is your cream cheese filling completed. Now apply it to your piping bag. I'm using a 16 inch piping bag so I can get enough of the filling in my bag. And I'm not using a tip. So this would be called... This would be considered to call your tipless bag. So I'm just cutting a nice little hole so I can have some control when applying to my shooters. Now I apply my shooters into a tray pan. So once I'm done filling them, then I can apply them to, or add them to the refrigerator so they can cool before I add in my caramel filling. All right, but before I do that, make sure your corners are filled and just as you see here they're nice and filled and then i'm going to show you with the next layer after i apply the crumble now i'm applying another two tablespoons heaping tablespoons of crumble to my shooters and for the filling cream cheese filling you can add as much as you like it just depends on how you want your shooters displayed now for the cream cheese filling, you can add as much as you like, as many layers as you like, but make sure you take your cream cheese filling and get the edge and corners of your shooters so they can be nicely displayed. 
Now it's time to make the caramel filling. I'm gonna use the remaining sweetened condensed milk in the whole can of caramel. I'm also gonna be using five ounces of the vanilla caramel coffee creamer and just add all the ingredients to the saucepan and mix over low heat until all the ingredients is well incorporated. Now continue to mix over low heat until that caramel melts down and be nice and smooth. You don't want to turn it up on high because you will begin to scold your caramel and you don't want to do that. Now once you have completed that process, it will come together smooth like this. You want to let it sit for about 5 or 10 minutes before you apply it to your shooters. Now once you apply it to your shooters, you may get some little bubbles and you want to take a toothpick and begin to pick those bubbles or pop those bubbles before you go on to your next step and that is to refrigerate your shooters. So they're going to go in the refrigerator for about 10 minutes and while it's in the refrigerator we're going to make our whip topping. Now I'm adding two cups of heavy whipping cream and a tablespoon of granulated sugar. Now you wanna mix this until it begins to get to the stiff peaks. So you're gonna mix until it gets stiff peaks. And it's gonna take some time before that develops. So don't worry, just have patience and trust the process. All right, so as you see here, it's not quite done. It's gonna be a little loose. And if this happens, you just keep mixing until you get to those stiff peaks. Now we are complete. This is the stiff peak part and we are ready for piping. Now that your whipped cream topping is completed, you wanna add it to your piping bag and I'm gonna be using a 2F tip. You can use a 1M or a 2D tip, whatever tip you desire, but make sure your whip topping is refrigerated because it's a cool whip topping, right? So here are the shooters nicely done and completed, has been removed from the refrigerator and now it's time to pipe our whip topping. Here are the dessert shooters done and completed. This is the caramel cheesecake shooters. All ingredients, recipe, and supplies that I use in this video will be listed in the description box below. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. Be sure to like this video and leave a comment in the comment section below, letting me know how you enjoyed this video. And you already know, it's your girl Ro about to go, but I'll see you all in the next video.